This is all my fault. For years now, I've decried the ills of basic economy fares, how it's not saving you, the customer, any money at all, but rather strong-arming you into paying more for what you used to get for free. I thought, though, that we'd hit rock bottom, that it was as bad as it could be. No seat selection, no changes, even no carry-on in the case of United and JetBlue. I even said this in a prior video. Flashback. There's not anything more they can do to make it worse. Please don't prove me wrong here, guys. End of flashback. Well, I was wrong. Delta could find a way to make base economy even worse. Delta, the OG, the company that invented basic economy to begin with. As of December 9th, 2021, in the middle of the night, with no announcement, Delta basic economy fares don't earn any miles at all. Not just no status, but no miles. Zero. Oh, you get nothing! It's been clear for years that the days of actually flying to earn frequent flyer miles was over. But we've made it to the end game. We're in the end game now. I shouldn't have to state that this is bad for the vast majority of Delta flyers, as the vast majority of flyers book basic economy tickets. But I just know some Delta fanboy in the comments will somehow try and spin this as a positive. I've also seen some elitism in the frequent flyer community that real enthusiasts don't book basic economy fares, and most corporate travel doesn't either. Well, I do book basic economy, and so does the vast majority of the traveling public, so this does matter to a lot of people. Instead, let's figure out why Delta is doing this and what the potential implications will be. The primary reason will be obvious to any frequent viewer of this channel. Say it with me. The goal of basic economy is to make it so unpleasant that you don't pick it and instead pay up for a higher fare. Its sole purpose is to take. It takes and it takes and it takes. People who want to earn frequent flyer miles with Delta will need to pay more. Never mind, those miles themselves are near worthless, but that's a whole other story. There's also an accounting rationale. Delta miles don't expire anymore and count as a liability on the company's balance sheet. Fewer people earning miles means fewer miles outstanding, means fewer liabilities. Sounds like a win-win here. There is a potential downside here though. I'm guessing they've thought it through and run the numbers, but I'm curious what actually happens. Look, I like flying Delta's new planes. I've encouraged people to vote with their wallets and fly a superior product. But when the prices and product are the same, why should anyone fly Delta over another airline? If I fly United, Southwest, American, or Alaska, I'll at least earn something on the cheapest ticket. Hell, even Spirit Airlines now has a better loyalty program than Delta. Spirit! Most people don't play the miles and points game or chase status. They like one or two airlines, fly them for several years, then cash in their miles for a free ticket and feel good about it, regardless of whether it was actually a good value or not. That's how you build brand loyalty. But Delta has just excised the vast majority of their customer base from participating. Will this matter in the end? I really don't know. I do know that American and United, who always copy Delta, are for sure at least thinking about doing something similar. If they do, then the days of airline loyalty, at least for the vast majority of travelers, will truly be dead. It's truly dead. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click that button and please subscribe for my more traditional flight reviews as well as some rants like this. I'll see you in the next one.